Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde Ogun Tade, inside of the most honorable Frederick Douglass and the most honorable Marcus Garvey, RBG, International Leadership Academy. We working, brothers and sisters. We working, brothers and sisters. Last weekend was Nick Cannon. Yesterday was Source of Knowledge book giveaway. And now we got to finish the paint in the floors. If you got a problem with this mission, hop off the live right now. If you got a problem with this mission, hop off the live right now. We not playing. We ain't playing no games. We ain't taking no prisoners. We got to finish up the school, brothers and sisters. We ain't playing no games. We ain't taking no prisoners. We got to finish up the school, brothers and sisters. Hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. That's right. That's right. Who else building institutions? Who else building institutions? Who else building institutions with no white money? Who's else, who building institutions, brothers and sisters? Send that check of money order. Send that check of money order payable to the FDMG Academy, P.O. Box 9634, Wilmington, Delaware. Send that check of money order payable to FDMG Academy, P.O. Box 9634, Wilmington, Delaware. They ain't building those schools. If they do, they got white bank loan, brothers and sisters. We talking independence. We talking independence. That's right, black boys. I ain't forgot about you little fellas. My preschoolers, my kindergartners, my first grade African boys, my second grade African boys, my third grade African princes, my fourth grade African princes. King Kong is on the guard. I said King Kong consciousness is on the guard. We're going to finish what we started, brothers and sisters. We're going to finish what we started. HBCU Edward Waters University, where you at? HBCU Edward Waters University, Jacksonville, Florida, next Thursday, September the 26th. We ain't playing no games with y'all. We ain't playing no games with y'all, brothers and sisters. We're going to finish what we started. Howard University, I'm pulling up for your homecoming for the comedy and consciousness event. Howard University, I'm pulling up for the comedy and consciousness event. London, England, I'll see you next month. Nat Turner Land, I'll see you next month. We got the Harriet Tubman Eclipse tomorrow. We got the Harriet Tubman Full Moon in Virgo Eclipse tomorrow, which is also the Dr. Umar Eclipse. You can't compare me to Queen Mother Harriet because she can't be compared to nobody. But tomorrow, 13 years ago, tomorrow, 13 years ago, I showed up in Chicago, Illinois. Y'all know what the rest is. Tomorrow, 14, 13 years ago, I showed up, excuse me, 14 years ago. Tomorrow, 14 years ago, I showed up in Chicago, Illinois. 14 years later, I'm still the biggest name in black consciousness on the planet Earth. I said tomorrow, 14 years ago, I showed up in Chicago, Illinois, and it's been 14 years, and I'm still the biggest name in black consciousness, black psychology, pan-Africanism, 14 years later, y'all can't touch the God. Y'all can't touch the God. Got my Marcus Garvey piece on. You know what I'm saying? Got the Garvey chain. We got the Frederick Douglass chains coming. We ain't playing no games with you ninjas. We ain't playing no games with you ninjas. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. We ain't playing no games with you ninjas. We ain't playing no games with you ninjas. You either with me or you against me. You either with me or you against me. You either with the Prince of Pan-Africanism or you against the Prince of Pan-Africanism. We ain't playing no games. I'm going to be on Michael Collier's podcast next week and I'm going to be on Donnell Rawlings, Donnell Rawlings podcast, my two big comedy brothers. I'm going to be on the Michael Collier podcast next week, and I'm going to be on the Donnell Rawlings 
podcast next week. Look for that Nick Cannon, Dr. Umar Council culture. Look for that Nick Cannon, Dr. Umar Cannon's class. Look for that Nick Cannon, Dr. Umar. We playing chess, not checkers. We playing spades, brothers and sisters. We playing spades, brothers and sisters. It's time to finish the school, brothers and sisters. Oh, yes. Where them institutions at? Where them institutions at? Where them institutions at, brothers and sisters? Where them institutions at, brothers and sisters? Where them institutions at, brothers and sisters? I'm building institutions. Not YouTube pages, I'm building institutions. Not TikTok pages, I'm building institutions. Not Facebook pages, I'm building institutions. Not Twitter pages, this your big brother King Kong. Next stop is HBCU, Edward Waters University, Nat Turner, London, England. Where my Ghanaian Africans at? I'm pulling up to the Volta region in Ghana next month. I'm pulling up to the Volta region in Ghana next month. I'm pulling up to the Volta region in Ghana next month. Where my Australian Africans? Where my Sydney Australian Africans? Oh, yes. Where my Melbourne, Australia Africans at? Oh, yes. Once I speak in Australia, I'll be the first scholar in modern history, one of the few ever to speak on every continent at least twice by invitation, by invitation, by invitation. I'm on my fifth passport. Stop playing with me, you Negro people. Stop playing with me, you Negro peeps. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. I'm going to say this and I'm going to be quiet. Let me say this and I'm going to be Where my beautiful African sisters at, first of all? Where my beautiful African sisters at? I love all my sisters. Whether you got a weave, a perm, whatever you into, I love you. Braids. We're my beautiful African queens. But I give a special, special, special level of attention to my sisters who go all natural. Where are my all natural queens at? No fake hair, no fake eyelashes, no fake nails. Where are my 100% organically African sisters at? See, you might be all African, but are you organically African? Oh, yes. Where are my organically African sisters at? Oh, yes. I got a new acronym for the Neanderthal. And the new acronym for the Neanderthal is CEO. When they really piss you off, brothers and sisters, call them CEO. How you doing, CEO Jasmine? How you doing, CEO Mike? How you doing, CEO Annie? How you doing, CEO Paul? Do you know what CEO stands for? CEO Bill Gates, CEO Donald Trump, CEO Joe Biden, you, CEO George Bush. You know what CEO stands for? colonizer, enslaver, and oppressor. Oh, yes. Call them the CEO. They don't even know what you're saying. Good morning, my CEOs. They're going to say, wow, she called us the CEO. I'm calling you a colonizer, an enslaver, and an oppressor. Hashtag CEO. Hashtag CEO. CEO, brothers and sisters, stands for colonizer, enslaver, and oppressor, CEO Joe Biden, CEO Kamala Harris, CEO Barack Obama, colonizer, enslaver, and oppressor. Next time a Neanderthal gets on your nerves, call him a CEO. They won't even know what the hell you saying. They think you giving them a compliment. They are gonna think you giving them a compliment. When you go to work tomorrow, when you go to work, go to that Neanderthal who be getting on your damn nerves and say, good morning, CEO Paul. Good morning, CEO Susan. You damn colonizer, you damn enslaver, and you damn oppressor. Hashtag CEO. Now let me drop this on y'all. 
because I got to get back to Philadelphia. I'm at your school, my school, our school. I'm at your school, my school, our school. I'm at your school, my school, our school, brothers and sisters. The Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. We almost finished. It's time to cross the finish line. But let me drop this on you, Negroes. Because some of y'all still pushing multiculturalism and people of colorism. Some of y'all still pushing multiculturalism slash people of colorism. Let me say this to all my Negro Pian American Africans who are still pushing multiculturalism and CEOism. Did you know up until 1970, Mexicans were considered Caucasian for purposes of the U.S. Census? Did you know from 1950 to 1970, the East Indians, the Asian Indians were considered Caucasian for purposes of the U.S. Census? Did you know that the Japanese sued in court to be considered Caucasian, but they lost? Did you know many Latinos claim to be Caucasian and that's why the government invented Hispanic so that Africans who spoke Spanish could stop pretending that they were Caucasian? Did you know that right now all Arabs in America are considered Caucasian? Did you know all Arabs in America are considered Caucasian? So here's the question I want to ask my American Africans. Here's the question I want to ask my American Africans. Here's the question I want to ask my American Africans. If Arabs are considered Caucasian, if Japanese and Chinese tried to be classified as Caucasian, if Latinos lied to be called ca Caucasian, if Mexicans were once considered Caucasian, if Asian Indians were once considered Caucasian, why in the hell do you call yourself a person of color? Why would any black person claim to be multicultural? If every multicultural group wanted to be white or tried to be white, I'm going to say it again. If every multicultural group wanted to be white or tried to be white, I'm going to say it one more time. If every multicultural group wanted to be white and tried to be white, why you want to join arms with them? They want to be with your oppressor. They are siding with your oppressor. They want to be one with the CEO. They want to be CEOs, colonizers, enslavers, and oppressors. I said they want to be CEOs, colonizers, enslavers, and oppressors. And you want to join in? With the people who want to join in with your oppressor? You want to be one with the people who trying to be one with your oppressor? You want to unite with the people who trying to unite with your oppressor? I don't want to be a CEO, colonizer, enslaver, and oppressor. Oh, yes justice for all Africans or justice for no Africans. The Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy is coming, brothers and sisters. The Harriet Tubman Eclipse, the Nat Turner Eclipse, the Dangerfield Newbie Eclipse. We in the building, the new moon, the full moon, full moon in the Africoon. I said the new moon, the full moon in the Africoon. I said the new moon and the full moon will destroy all of you Africans, HBCU Edward Waters, HBCU Howard University, London, England, Ghana, Australia, Nashville podcast, the prince is coming, we in the building. Y'all know how to reach me, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858, King Kong Consciousness is on his guard.